A long abandoned historic plant in Tupelo's Mill Village will have a new life and a new purpose. Ellie Martin talked with the investor and contractor about what's in store for the old Carnation milk plant. For generations, the iconic smokestack at the Carnation milk plant was a symbol of prosperity for Mill Village and the city of Tupelo. But after the plant closed, the building was shuttered and became a refuge for the homeless. For the past year, though, workers have been transforming the abandoned plant into affordable housing for seniors. We uh, did what we did and, and, and uh, uh, designed 33 units here in this building. Uh, we've got a community building out back that's going to house a uh, community center. Steve Nell is with Madison-based Intervest Corporation. His company specializes in finding new life for historic buildings. Nell says Carnation Village will be for seniors ages 55 and older. Two units will lease at market rate, while the others will be for seniors earning between 30 and 60 percent of the area's median income. Colin Maloney owns Century Construction, which is building the multifamily development. He says the project will be a game changer for Mill Village. My grandmother lived on Church Street. My grandfather had, her, had his business here. And it's great to see that the uh, renovation of this old building has been standing vacant for so long. It's been a great positive impact on Mill Village, and I think it'll be great for Tupelo. Before Nell committed to the project, he wanted to be sure one issue was cleared up. One of the understandings I had with the city is they would turn this into a no-blow zone. So the train would not blow its whistle, which you've heard it, it's loud. And uh, so they had assured me on the front end that they would spend the money, not waiting on grants or anything, but spend the money to create these crossings at these uh, roads that go across the railroad track close by. The city has made the necessary safety improvements for a quiet zone at the Broadway Street Railroad Crossing. Plans call for similar work to be done at Church and Green Street crossings. Still, when all that work is done, the railroad has the final say when it comes to designating a quiet zone. In the meantime, Carnation Village will open its doors to tenants in August. Telling your story in Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News.